Hi, Scorpio. It's Tina from Trust and Truth Tarot. Hope you guys are all doing great. Okay. Um, let's do your January 2018 general and or love forecast. We'll see how the cards, uh, excuse me. We'll see what the cards have to say. <laughs> I can't talk today, apparently. Um, all right. So let's go ahead and get into this Scorpio January 2018. Mm. Oh. All right. So I hope you guys all had a very happy holiday season. Happy New Year to everybody as well. And then we're all pretty excited for 2018 to see what's in store for us. All right. Scorpio January 2018. Advice, guidance, general insight for the zodiac sign of Scorpio for January 2018. And Scorpio needs to know, please. All right. If you're new to my channel and you don't know how I do my general readings, it's a nine card spread. I do three cards for your recent past, three cards for your present, and then three cards for your near future. And then I clarify and we also pull an overview card for the general energy, okay? Mm hmm. A lot of fire sign energy here, guys. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. All right. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio, bottom of the deck is the Hermit card. Some of you guys might be dealing with a Virgo. Others of you, um, you know, might just be being a little uh, quiet right now, introspective, okay? I know that's, that's usually not a thing for Scorpios, but um, I feel like some of you guys are keeping to yourself, okay? Just not really um, putting yourself out there too much, maybe not, you know, going out as much as you were or something like that, okay? All right, so Ace of Wands reversed, Six of Cups, and the King of Wands reversed. Um, and that's for your recent past. I really feel like a lot of you guys are dealing with a fire sign, okay? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could have been a false start, all right? So you could have started talking to somebody or maybe had somebody come in and you tried to make like a love offer to them and um, they either didn't take you up on it or they did and then you found out this person was not the right person for you. Let's just say that, okay, with those two reversed there. And the ace tells me too, again, it looks like something started to get off the ground maybe for some of you guys and it just didn't quite come to fruition. All right. And then you've got that king of wands reverse and it's really because of them, Scorpio. It doesn't have anything to do with you. Okay. Um, some of you guys might have tried, it could be that you tried a new business venture as well, a work career, something like that, or you tried to get a new job and it didn't come through. Okay. Hmm. Excuse me, I had to take a drink. Okay. Present is going to be the Strength card, the Page of Wands, and the Page of Pentacles. You guys have messages coming in, all right? Um, so the Strength card, a Leo person, or it's like really pulling in on your inner strength, you know, being strong, um, you know, pushing forward with something, you know, whether that be love or work or finances, whatever the case may be, okay? Um, then you've got the Page of Wands and the Page of Pentacles, all right? So this could be two things, all right? You've got um, Page of Wands, you know, uh, again, fire sign energy, a lot of fire here, guys. Um, this person could be coming back in, all right, to deliver a message to you, either that they're ready to date now or, um, you know, maybe reconciling. If this is like a breakup back here, if you stop talking to somebody for some reason, they might be coming back in and trying to make some sort of offer or reconciliation offer, okay? You have the Page of Pentacles here as well. So for some of you Scorpios, you're going to be dealing with two people, an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, and here's your Virgo, or uh, or Fire sign, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, okay? Um, it looks like both of these people kind of come in at the same time and make you some sort of offer or start communicating with you in some way, okay? Send you some messages, things like that. Um, Page of Pentacles can also mean a job offer that's coming in too, okay? So like if something didn't work out back here, maybe some of you guys got laid off, definitely could be. Um, you might have a new job offer coming in or some other offer of financial gain, okay? In your near future, you have the Nine of Wands reversed, which is great, Temperance reversed, possible Sagittarius here, okay? Um, and then the Two of Swords reversed, all right? 
So nine of wands reverse tells me that you might have been feeling defensive against somebody, okay? You might have thought something was just not right or somebody wasn't acting right. Possibly that king of wands reversed up there, you know, but it could be anybody really. Um, so you were feeling defensive against them, but now with this page of wands here, whatever this message that comes in, you're, you're able to let your defenses down a little bit, okay? I feel like you're feeling a little bit more comfortable with the situation. And then you have temperance reverse, guys. So again, we have a Sagittarius person, uh, but it's, it's like, uh, if it's not a Sagittarius, you know, it's an imbalance, like, right? You guys are trying to like gain balance in your life. He's pouring water from one cup to the other because he wants to balance them out. And this one's an imbalance. So you might be giving a lot more Scorpio than the other person, you know, and that could be in love or work, whatever the case may be. You might be giving, 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 and not getting anything back. Two of swords reversed. Okay. So it's like, you need to make a decision. You really do, but you can't, you're stuck. All right, you just don't know what to do because it's going to be a life-changing decision, whatever the case may be, whether it's to, you know, break up with someone, cut off communication or to change jobs, you know, it's, it's life-changing. So you're having a hard time making that decision. Okay. And that's coming up in the near future. A really important one. Okay. So let's clarify. What is the Ace of Wands reversed, please, for Scorpio? The star reversed. Yeah. So it looks like it was something you guys were really wishing for. Okay. It could also be an Aquarius, but, um, you know, that really means that you guys really wanted something really bad. If it's a new job or a new love offer or somebody, you know, something to work out, it just didn't work out exactly the way you thought it was going to, okay? Um, six of Cups. Yeah. Okay. Getting away from conflict or trying to walk away from a situation, but you can't, all right? So again, if this is an on again, off again relationship type thing. It's like you're trying to leave the past behind, but you just can't stop looking backwards though. Um, but some of you guys are going to be able to move on. Um, I, I do you see that with the card in reversed, all right? But it's, it's been a struggle. King of Wands reversed. Yeah, it's not a victory, guys. Six of Wands, okay? So... Again, you know, you're trying to move on from it because you just, you're trying to cut your losses, essentially, uh, is what that looks like, Scorpio. You know, you're cutting your losses and walking away and saying, you know what, I admit defeat here, it's not going to work out, you know, whatever the case may be, but you're, you've come to that realization, I think, or you recently did, all right? So, the strength card, let's see what that is. Oh, King of Swords reversed. Again, it's that the King of Swords reverse is like shitty communication. It's like somebody being really nasty with you or you being nasty with them, you know, it could be. Um, but that's because you, you, you know, you got stronger. You were like, no, I'm putting my foot down. I'm not dealing with this. Page of Wands in the upright. Yeah. Okay. So, so now this person comes back, right? Whoever this was, you had this conflict with and you had to get like really nasty with, or they got nasty with you. They come back to, to rectify the conflict. Okay. To rectify, to end the war, basically, you know, that looks like the, the message that's coming in from fire page of pentacles. Yeah. Okay. And the page of pentacles, if you're waiting on a job offer or to hear from an earth sign, Virgo, Virgo Taurus Capricorn, it looks like they're coming out of a period of like stagnation where they weren't really doing anything. Um, this person now comes back in to either communicate with you, ask you out, make you that job offer that you were waiting on. You hadn't heard from something like that. Okay. They're no longer in resting mode. All right. Nine of wands reverse, please. Queen of wands. Okay. Again, letting down your defenses, but now you've got the Queen of Wands here in the upright, okay? She's a fiery woman. She's very passionate, okay? Zest for life kind of gal. But um, you're able to let your defenses down because this person has now righted themselves, okay? And I, I truly think it's just that somebody coming back to make an apology, all right? So now you're able to be like, okay, you know, I accept your apology. Let's just move on with this situation, okay? Temperance reversed, Ace of Pentacles reversed. Okay. Again, though, it looks like there's like either a choice between earth and air here, or, um, the balance is that, you know, with work and finances, like things aren't balancing out financially, you know, like, um, you're, you're putting out more money than you're getting in, you know what I mean? Like relying on credit or, um, going through savings, something like that. Okay. Like having to spend a lot and it's, it's, it's putting you off, you know, off balance. Two of Swords reverse. So it's this big decision that Scorpio needs to make. Okay. All right. Okay. So somebody did not accept a love offer from somebody else. All right. Whether that be you or the other person. Now the decision is 
because it comes around again, okay, this is accepting an offer, all right? So it might be a change of heart. You might be reconciling with somebody, you know? That's definitely possible, definitely possible, all right? Um, yeah, it looks like reconciliation here, but again, I feel like either you or the other person has something going on financially that's kind of, you know, tipping the scales in one direction, you know what I mean? It's not... Um, it's not like even here, you know, it's finances or, or some other, you know, issue that's just making it imbalanced. The hermit, why is the hermit here? The chariot. All right. If you guys have a Virgo coming in, this is forward positive movement. Okay. Two majors to kind of crown your month. All right. Um, forward positive movement or traveling. You might be traveling to see a Virgo coming out of rest to travel. Um, or you might be dealing with a Cancerian person as well, a Cancer, Zodiac sign person too, okay? All right, Scorpio, that was your reading. I hope you found it helpful. Um, if, you, uh, if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe. I'd love to have you here. And also, uh, if you're interested in a personal reading, you can find all the information for that down in the description bar below, all right? Um, happy New Year, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.